Hello and welcome back to the vlog. Today I thought we could carry on eating stuff I found in my cupboard because got some custard. Custard. That's custard. Um, if you don't know what custard is and you're American, um, custard is like gravy and you put it on dessert like cake and things. Uh, if you are Canadian, no, do not get excited. You cannot put it on chips. It's not poutine. Um, the special thing about this custard is that it went, well, the best before end is actually October 2011. So if I hold it up to the camera, it's camera, 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 camera. Are you going to see it? Can you see it? October 2011. Let's get the white balance. Is the white balance going to come back? Probably. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Oh, there it goes. So the thing about this is uh, I'm recording in December 2018. Which means it's at least seven years, seven years past its best before end date. Uh, what is in custard? Well, we'll come back to that in just a second, um, because the last video was to do with overcoming anxiety. That was the last vlog that I did. It was kind of out of left field. Uh, what I wanted to do was actually verbally on a video, thank everyone who uh, left a comment and shared their own experiences uh, with anxiety and whether they overcame it or whether they're still dealing with it. Um, I thought it was very brave of everyone to do that. And and if you've got that far to you know to share it with a bunch of people, um, you might not know. I think you're going to be okay. I hope you're going to be okay. Me, on the other hand, I might not. You see, custard, uh, specifically birds custard. So. The Bird's brand has been around since 1837. It says that on the back of the packet. Um, Mr. Bird of the Bird family. Uh, that's, it's really weird because the everything's mirrored on, on the little viewfinder next to the camera. Um, Mr. Bird of the Bird's family, actually, uh, his wife was allergic to eggs. And you normally make custard with egg. So he came up with a recipe that didn't require egg. And uh, he's so, I think he sold it on. He sold on um, the IP, the rights, uh, everything that makes the custard. So this thing has been around for uh, nearly 200 years. Well, not this. This has been around for at least seven years and probably a little bit longer than that, at least eight, because it's been in my cupboard for about eight years. <sighs> Delaying again, delaying again, delaying again, delaying again. So what's in it? Um, okay, so the ingredients. I might actually hold it up here so you can actually see me reading the things. Uh, the ingredients. Modified starch. Probably cornstarch. It's like a thickening agent. You put it in water. It's what makes gravy thick. Canadians don't get excited. I warn you, you do not want to put this on chips. Uh, or fries. Sorry, fries. It's Canadia. I keep forgetting that. Uh, sugar. Whey powder from milk. So curds and whey. Yep, that's milk. Vegetable oil from vegetables. Cream powder from milk again. Milk proteins from cows. And most of this comes from a cow. I don't know if the cows are still around actually. Thickeners, um, flavorings. So it usually has like a vanilla y flavor and it's yellow. Oh, that's the other thing. If you've never seen custard, it's yellow. Um, what, 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 what contains milk? Oh, allergens. I don't know if you can see that. Allergens. Contains milk. Is it going to focus? I don't think it matters because now we're all blue. Right. Okay. So what we do, what we do, uh, it's actually got a little handy how-to on the back. Nice. So what we do is we get our measuring jug. Pyrex measuring jug. The universal Pyrex measuring jug. I believe Pyrex actually sold their, um, the, 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 the company. The company is now owned by somebody else. Don't know. Would have to look that up. Uh, uh. So, <laughs> you can see that. Scissors. Uh, scissors, scissors, scissors. I have to do this up here. This is weird. Um, top, off, inside. I don't know where that went. I don't actually know what custard is supposed to smell like in its powder form. I don't think I've ever made it myself like this. It's not something I want to put in my mouth. Not, not dry. Uh, can I can I get a little powdery? I mean, it's still dry. It's moisture hasn't gotten into it, um, which means it's probably not moldy. 
It doesn't taste bad. I'm looking at my mouse mount, which is down there, which I used the choppy scissors on um, to open this, and it's now covered in this powdery stuff. But what you do, uh, according to the instructions, is you pour it. Oh my god, I'm pouring this over a mechanical keyboard, which is worth a lot of money. I just realized that. I don't want it going in there. It will never come out. I'm just going to do this over here. Over here, next to, next to the Sega Saturn instead. What am I doing? I'm going to do it over here next to... Oh, there's no Roomba, so that's okay. Where's the room? Can you even see the Roomba from... Uh, 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 yeah, just about if I turn the chair. The Roomba's, Roomba's back there somewhere. All right. It's empty. Um, I'm going to regret that, but Roomba's, Roomba will deal with it. So you pour that in there. You need boiling water. Boiling water. Wasser de boiling. Uh, here we are. Kids, get an adult to help you with this. This is stupid. I should really not be pouring it like over my face quite like this. Uh, 400 and... What was it? 475 milliliters. 475. Okay. So nearly half a liter. 450... What's some five? I think it was four seven five milliliters. Uh, if you're American, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm putting down a kettle full of boiling water uh, in one hand, and I'm holding a jug full of hot freaking water in the other hand. You're supposed to whisk it with a whisk. Don't have a whisk. Why am I holding this above my head? This is ridiculous. I need a better camera. I was looking at Black Magic. Why am I talking to you around my own arms? I was looking at Black Magics, which are a camera. Where did that go? There's a lot of equipment down there. I mean, there's a freaking mixing desk. Um, there's a Behringer Euphoria little input. Mechanical keyboard. I should have probably put that. Oh my God, it's in the keyboard. All right, all right. Let's, let's just hope it doesn't go into a switch because it's full of sugar and it's, it'll never come out. So I need to I need to stir this. I should realize I'm stirring into the microphone. This is. Not the worst video. I'm going to stir it down on my knee. Hello, how are you doing? So this should thicken up. I just realised what this might look like. Hi kids. Um, how 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 was school? Well, that's even worse. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. Uh, if you need to make custard, get an adult to help you. Don't um, get anyone who looks like me to help you, because apparently I'm just going to beans it all up. All right. I just realised I don't have any place for this to, this fork to go. I've I've got I've got I've got some kitchen roll. Hang on a sec. Uh, kitchen roll. Fork. Uh, you can go next to the Sega. Oh. You can go next to Sega Mega CD, which is another thing I don't want custard inside of. Right. It looks fine. It looks worse on the camera because it's bright yellow and that's where all the lights are. On this side, it looks kind of dark and custody. To take custody of the custard is what we're doing. Mind has been blown. YOLO 420. Um, it's a bit thin. I might have added too much water. That's fine. Uh, let's bring this back here. Why is the microphone up so high? Witchcraft. Um, it smells... Actually, what does it smell like? <laughs> I don't know what this smells like. I'd hold it in front of the microphone so you could smell it too, but I don't think that's going to work. Um. Yeah, it kind of smells like custard, but there's something else there. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. You know when you get clothes and you put them on the clothes horse and they're damp, but they don't have time to dry? And they get that sort of really musty, like an old towel that's been left in the corner of the room. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what it smells like. Ooh, woo lad. Uh, I, okay, I, I just forgot I put an entire boiling kettle in here just like a minute ago. I just put that on my tongue. Uh, it's edible. The aftertaste is fine. 
Uh, why do I keep getting the hottest part of it? Let me try this again. Mmm. Good news is, I don't think it's poisonous. Um, I don't think it's poisonous. I think. Uh, yeah, it tastes like an old pair of gym socks that have been damp and just left in the back of a Jeep Wrangler for too long. Um, I think basically, but the, the, once you swallowed it, it's fine. Wait, wait a minute. That's okay. Fine. We're, we're, we're okay. That, I'm sure there's a euphemism there somewhere. Um, custard, seven year old custard, dry powdery stuff. Fine. Um, I wouldn't serve it to guests, but if you're in desperate need of custard on your cake or whatever, uh, I mean, it's not going to kill you, is it? We'll find out. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, in fact, I'm going to leave that over here, uh, next to the laptop, which I also don't want custard in. There's a lot of kit. What's, what's happening with my hair? I went out on the motorbike earlier. Work gave us half a day off and, the mo and I was like, great, half a day off. And everyone at work was like, let's go to the pub. And I'm like, I need something a bit faster than the pub. I need to go out on the motorbike. Oh my God, I've got custard in my chair. And the floor. There's custard everywhere. There's custard powder everywhere. Um, okay, so if you liked this video, definitely leave a little like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment if you want to say anything interesting. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, definitely leave a comment because I will do more as long as people are watching them and liking them and sharing them and all that sort of stuff. Because let's be honest, I'm putting expired food in my body. I've had, I, I've looked through that cupboard. There's a bunch more stuff out, out there. Uh, definitely do all that. If you do subscribe, click the little bell because that will give you notifications when videos go live. Also, if you're not getting notifications through YouTube, definitely, 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 definitely go over to the Facebook page and do it with the Facebook thingy, whatever social media is, um, and you'll get all the videos there as well. Plus, anytime I do a live stream with James on James's channel, um, I'll post it on Facebook, but not necessarily YouTube. Good. Is that everything? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll catch you next time.